There is so much about the earth that we undervalue in our daily lives. Though human civilization has spread to every region of the world, our existence still depends on the alignment of natural phenomena that are beyond our control. Earth's precise distance from the sun, which creates ideal temperature for life, is a perfect example. Even the grandeur of our planet's landscape is the product of natural events. It was plate tectonics, after all, that forced the Himalaya Mountains to rise, create spectacular volcanoes like Mount Fuji and Mount Vesuvius, and shape the Earth's oceans and continents. Our planet's many peculiarities make it both beautiful and habitable. But what would happen if something changed? That if a single elemental part of our planet was altered, and what would the consequences be for humanity and for all life? We're talking about Earth's magnetic field. Now let's conduct a thought experiment and imagine the Earth exactly as it is, but with no trace of geomagnetism. Our protective shield, our magneto sheath, our savior. What then? Some of the resulting effects would be plain weird. Others would be utterly catastrophic. Of course, there is a slight chance that this would ever happen, but it's happening now. In the last century, our magnetosphere has waned rapidly. The magnetic field of Earth has dropped over 15%, and it is rapidly increasing. The poles are weakening. We now have four dipoles on Earth, and they're sliding towards the equator. Now, the first thing we would notice, just happening now in some areas on Earth, is compasses would do strange things. Compasses are really nothing more than tiny magnets. And like all magnets, they align themselves with nearby magnetic fields. Conveniently, Earth's magnetic field is strong enough to force compasses to align north and south. But with our planet's magnetic field waning or gone, compasses would point to any nearby source of magnetism which is happening now up in the Northern Hemisphere and why the world magnetic model had to be readjusted. Number two, birds. Birds couldn't migrate because they wouldn't know where they were migrating. Humans are not the only animals that exploit Earth's magnetic field for navigation. Many birds, sea turtles, lobsters, and honeybees. Salmon, even fruit flies have biological compasses. Birds use this ability to seek warmer climates during winter months. And as the magnetosphere wanes, this couldn't bode very badly for certain species. If the magnetic field disappeared or weakened enough, many animals that depend on compass navigation would be in serious trouble. Sea turtles could literally get lost at sea. Migratory birds might fly in the wrong direction and freeze to death. Honeybees might get lost trying to find their hives. It would impact pollination and biology in general. Let's talk about the auroras. Auroras wouldn't be the same. In fact, they would start emanating from different points of the planet, depending on where the poles are. Along with losing biodiversity, on our planet. The loss of Earth's magnetic field could alter auroras, known commonly as the Northern and Southern Lights. These phenomena are created when the planet's magnetic field channels charged particles from the sun into the poles, often happening during magnetic reconnection based on the solar wind. Now, the solar wind is usually deflected by our magnetosphere, the invisible shell created by Earth's magnetic field. But around the North and South Poles, the magnetosphere dips inward. And the result of this interaction are the spectacular multicolored bands of glowing plasma we call the Northern Lights or Aurora.
Now our atmosphere would be more exposed to the solar wind as the magnetosphere collapses, changing how auroras might appear. They could even resemble auroras from Venus or Mars, since those planets have weakened fields. Cosmic rays would reach the Earth's surface. Now that's bad news for you and me and all life. Our magnetic field doesn't just give us beautiful auroras, but it protects us from the bombardment of cosmic rays. Cosmic rays in the solar wind are harmful to life on Earth. And without the protection of our magnetosphere, our planet would be constantly bombarded by a stream of deadly particles. The effects of cosmic rays on the body can be pretty terrifying. While on lunar missions, for example, astronauts often reported seeing flashing lights when they closed their eyes. The direct result of cosmic rays passing through their retinas. A few even developed cataracts a few years later. Radiation and cosmic rays are a real concern for NASA, especially when it comes to long-term spaceflight. Astronauts on a mission to Mars would never make it, undergoing thousands of times the exposure to radiation and cosmic rays they would get on Earth. If our magnetosphere fails, the same thing happens on the surface. Cosmic rays would bombard our bodies and change our DNA. Increasing worldwide risk of cancer and other illnesses. The flashes of light visible when we close our eyes will be the least of our problems. Widespread power outages and broken satellites re-entering. This is getting crazy. Yes. Human health is one issue, but without a geomagnetic field, our technology would be at risk. Satellites could and do suffer damage from solar storms currently. Without Earth's magnetic field, every electronic device could be exposed to high-energy particles from cosmic rays and solar wind. In fact, solar activity has caused such problems before. In 1989, a massive solar flare an eruption of superheated plasma from the surface of the sun slammed into Earth's magnetosphere and knocked out electricity in Quebec, Canada, frying sections of the grid. The entire province went offline for 12 hours. 12 hours without powers. What happens if that's three years? Are you prepared? While the geomagnetic storm of 89 was unusually massive, Our magnetosphere was unusually strong. That's not happening now. The most deadly thing we need to talk about is stripping of the atmosphere itself. The most horrifying effect of losing the magnetic field is losing our atmosphere. The very air we breathe. The solar wind would once again be the culprit. The sun's natural wind is so powerful, it can easily rip gases out of planets' atmospheres until there is little gas left, like Mars. This is likely what happened up there on the red planet. Mars was probably once a lot like Earth, with oceans, water, and a thick atmosphere. Its atmosphere was left totally unprotected, causing it to be ripped away into space. And once the atmospheric pressure drops low enough, water can begin to evaporate until it was so shaken by the solar wind, it's quite possible that without our geomagnetic field, our atmosphere, our oceans, and our life could suffer a similar fate. Are you prepared? This is just a teaser. If Earth's magnetic field disappears, Animals and humans and all biology on the planet will suffer. Prepare now. Subscribe to the channel. And we'll walk you through it. Be safe.